Hello, my name is Anne Ordalek and it will just take me a few minutes to present you our latest work at Smart City Laboratory as a part of my PhD. So here we developed a stealth and targeted immunoliposome against breast cancer. We have encapsulated the CETAC cell in its B layer and coated on top trastuzumab, which is used as a therapeutical and targeting agent. Together, they represent the most common treatment in HTR2 positive breast cancer patients. When synthesizing our immunoliposome, we studied two different compositions one using natural lipids and another one using synthetic one. So we followed the usual thin film method with an extrusion step and we finished by grafting the trastuzumab via a malamine linker. As prototyping test, we studied two different compositions of immunoliposome. What was made of natural lipid and the other one made of synthetic ones. What we did is that we follow the usual thin film method, then we did an extrusion step and we finally grafted our trastuzumab using a malamine linker. Then we compared our two composition on the size, on the stability, on the encapsulation efficiency and the engraftment efficiency. And the result led us to pick the ANC made of natural lipids. A comparison of our two composition was then performed on size, stability study, encapsulation efficiency, engraftment efficiency and morphology. And as you can see on this result, it led us to pick the ANC one, the one made of natural lipid. For these studies, we worked on three cell lines expressing differently HCO2. And as you can see, the observed uptake was higher in cells expressing the most HCO2. In vitro FXC was also tested on these three cell lines, suggesting a higher antiproliferative efficacy and efficient drug delivery of our amyloliposomes compared to standard drugs. Considering this encouraging data, we are currently testing our immunoliposome distribution and efficacy on mice. And this result will be shortly available. If you have any question about this work or our future work, feel free to send me an email. And thank you for watching this video.